Megan, thank you for the time. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's great to be chatting to you. This is uh, how long? How many times have you been to Miami? Is this first for you? My very first time being in Miami. Really? So yeah, I'm loving it. It's what great. Are your impressions. Uh, how is this different from Scotland? I'm sure in a lot of ways. In many ways, the main one's probably the fact that we have some sunshine. We don't have that in Scotland, so uh, yeah, it's great to have some proper heat and some proper sunshine. Um, and yeah, the vibe's great here, you know, everyone's so excited and yeah, I'll beat, I really love it. This place has moved around a lot, but like, have you ever heard of the Fifth Street Gym before? Yeah, I've heard about it. It's got a famous history, so, but this one's moved to, it's moved from the old original site yeah, to here, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. yeah it's, it's moved a couple times, but it's, uh, it's always fantastic. You always get different feels coming in here, seeing all the pictures and whatnot. Yeah, no, it's been amazing. I've actually, like, obviously sparred here today, but also watched some amazing other sparring as well. And just like, yeah, it's just a great vibe. Some great boxes in here, so it's fantastic. What got you into fighting? Um, I used to do taekwondo when I was a kid. Um, I've got two younger sisters, so I think my mum's idea was that we'd not fight as much with each other if we were actually doing something like t like a combat sport. So yeah, I got into um, taekwondo, gave up all of that for my music for a bit, and then when I wanted to get fit again, I was naturally drawn back into combat sports. And uh, yeah, when I met my coach Noel, I really fell in love with boxing. So yeah, I heard that you're like a, you're a really good musician. So how did it go into that path when you got really good at that, and then? I guess, were you hesitant to get back into, into, into fighting and, and getting back into that mode? No, not at all, actually. It came to me at the right time, I think. I was doing my master's uh, in London. I just moved to London to do master's, and um, I was just doing it to keep fit, and then I kind of got into it around a time when my mom got sick. So uh, my mom got diagnosed with cancer, and actually boxing really helped me. I had a family at the gym that supported me, and it was the one thing that I could really switch off from. Um, because music was something I did with my mum, so obviously doing my degree was quite difficult at the time, so boxing really helped me through a really difficult time, so it was perfect timing. Fighting uh, in Scotland and over in Europe, it seems like it has like a different culture than it does over here. People are crazed about it. Yeah. Um, can you kind of give us an insight into that? What do people like over there when it comes to loving boxing? Oh, well, so obviously being in Scotland, in Scotland we just like fighting in general. <laughs> it's like, if you look back through our history, that's what we're really good at. <laughs> but um, I think also like, as, as a nation, we like to stand up for ourselves and show people we're, we're little, uh, but we've got massive hearts, and yeah, we like to do that, you know, and get in the ring, and boxing is a fantastic art and a fantastic sport, so, you know. What does it mean to be a champion from there? Oh, it, it means everything. You know, to write a little bit of history for my own country is massive, um, and that will always go down in history books as I became Scotland's first ever female world champion in boxing, so, yeah, so proud. So what do you got, you got coming up on October? What is, uh, what is, what is your game plan going in for it? Yeah, so um, it's kind of like my promotional debut with Salita Promotions, my first fight for them. Uh, really proud to have joined Salita Promotions. It's a, a great company. It's really pushing female boxing forward. So, yeah, I'm doing a six-rounder against Erin Tuffield. She's a bit of a veteran in the sport. Um, and I think it's going to be fireworks. I think it's going to be an exciting six-round for people to see what we've got, uh, see what I've got to show in the ring. So, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Have you felt, um, as, as your career has gone on, like, do you still feel yourself making leaps or do you feel like you're just kind of uh, sharpening things into, as you as you go on? Oh, well, I know I've only been a professional for three years now. So, you know, I feel like I still make great leaps in my training. I'm always working really hard to better myself. And like, I'm so hungry to keep maintaining being a champion and actually like progress as a champion and become, you know, a, a two time world champion and all that sort of stuff, you know. So I feel, yeah, definitely leaps and, and also a steady progression as well. Uh, I understand you, uh, you have a good relationship with Clarissa Shields. How did that develop? Yeah, well, we fought each other uh, last year in November uh, in Kansas, and that was a great fight. I think for female boxing, it was a fantastic build-up. Uh, everybody really enjoyed it. Um, and, yeah, since then, we did some sparring today, and it's been great to get some more rounds in with the champ. And, um, yeah, no, she's a, it's, it's a great person to work with. She's the top of her game, so you can only do anything but learn from people like that. So. We're looking forward to watching the journey. Thanks so much for spending some time with us, and uh, we're looking forward to watching it. No, thank you very much for having me. Cheers. Thank you.